In today's video, we're going to talk about the gold to silver ratio and when I think would be the most ideal time to trade one metal for the other. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing well, feeling great, and staying safe. It's a great day to have a great day. Today, I want us to talk about trading silver for gold if and when the gold to silver ratio gap closes in, if I think it's a good idea, and when I would trade if I would trade. We're going to get into it but really quick just in case you're new. Make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also subscribe to my second channel which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there. Go check it out. The link will be in the description and if you want to get some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel I would really 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 appreciate it. Don't forget you only have three days left to get yourself. The luck has nothing to do with it. T-shirt and hoodie. It's helping us raise a little bit of funds and awareness for St. Baldrick's Foundation. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. But today, I wanted to talk about the gold to silver ratio. I wanted to talk about the spot price of both of the two precious metals, some silver and some gold. I wanted to talk about trading some silver for gold if and when the gold to silver ratio gap ever were to close in. So first things first, the spot price of silver as I'm filming the video, keep in mind it is a Sunday afternoon as I'm filming the video, so the market is not currently opened, but in a few hours it will be. So who knows what the spot price is going to be by the time that happens. But as I'm recording the video, the spot price of silver is $25.93. You're obviously going to have to round that up probably close to $32 an ounce because you got to factor in a little bit of a premium. And as for gold, the spot price, as I'm recording the video, is $1,727.90. Now, because of those two numbers, because of those two spot prices, that would mean the gold to silver ratio is somewhere between 1 in 66 and 1 in 67. So we're just going to round it up and call it 1 to 67 right now. Is right now a good time to trade silver for gold? In my opinion, no, unless, of course, you're running out of room for all of your silver. And I've been saying it for a couple of years now, if you ever get to the point where you feel like you're running out of room for all your silver, number one, first things first, make sure you understand that that's an excellent problem to have. But two, if it's a storage issue, if it's a space issue, I see absolutely no problem in trading a little bit of silver for gold. It takes up so much less space. Gold, you can store so much more wealth, so much more value. It is such a small little piece of gold. It's actually incredible. It's still mind-blowing to me how much you can actually pack into just a little tiny gold coin or a little gold bar or something like that. But I don't think right now with the gold to silver ratio being 1 to about 67, I don't think now is the greatest time or the smartest time to be trading your silver for gold because I think the gap can close in quite a bit more. And it's actually pretty interesting to see what silver and gold have done over the last 365 days. Because I remember last year, it might have been pretty close to maybe this time last year, or probably more realistically, maybe April or May of last year. I remember making a video where I had a 10-ounce silver bar in one hand and a one-tenth of an ounce gold coin in the other. And at the time, the gold to silver ratio was 1 to 100, which means... Each of those pieces of metal can store pretty much exactly the same amount of wealth, the same amount of value, the same amount of fiat currency, glorified IOU dollar bills. The gold to silver ratio was about 1 to 100. And I think we can all agree the ratio has closed in quite a bit since then. But how much further can it go? How much closer can the two metals get? I know some people are saying 1 to 1, I going to be honest with you, I'm willing to bet every ounce of silver that I own that that will never happen. It could. I could be wrong, but I truly don't believe that would ever happen. I would like to see the ratio go to 1 to 50. Then it would close in a little bit more. 1 to 40. Maybe 1 to 30. I'm kind of on the fence about whether or not I can really see that happening, but I can definitely see 1 to 50, 1 to 40. And I've been saying for a quite a bit of time now if we saw the gold to silver ratio gap close into the 1 to 50 or 1 to 40 range somewhere within there I could see myself trading a little bit of silver for a little bit of gold now I would absolutely not trade all of my silver I wouldn't even trade half of my silver I wouldn't trade most of my silver I would just trade some of my silver I still consider silver to be the opportunity metal 
That's just, in my opinion, from my perspective, not financial advice. But the reason I call it the opportunity medal is because I think silver will offer me the opportunity to get my hands on gold without having to convert my dollars into gold. I think I'll be able to trade or convert my silver to gold someday in the future, a couple years, maybe a couple decades down the road. And the way the spot prices of both metals constantly fluctuate, more so silver, gold has done a better job standing its ground and being a little bit more stable. Silver, the volatility, it's a little bit more all over the place. So if the gold to silver ratio gap were to close into, I don't know, let's just say 1 to 40, hypothetical, it could just go back apart. It can go to 1 to 40. Then it can go back to 1 to 50 or 1 to 60 or 1 to 70, 1 to 80, who knows? I don't think when silver and gold begin to close in, that will be a permanent thing. I think it's going to be just like the spot price, up and down. I think the silver to gold ratio, I think it's going to be apart, close together, apart, close together. And if you can time it right, if you can get lucky, even though luck has nothing to do with it, don't forget, only three days left to get that hoodie or the t-shirt if you want one. But on a serious note, I do believe that the gold to silver ratio will continue to fluctuate, just like the spot price of both metals continue to fluctuate. Up today, down tomorrow, up the next day, down the day after that. That's just the way it is. That's just the way the precious metals work. So what I would like to do in a perfect world, this is what I would do, which I know we do not live in, but in a perfect world, I would like to trade a little bit of silver for a little bit of gold if and when the gold to silver ratio gap closes in. And like I said, if it closes in, I have a hunch that it's going to go back apart. And then when it closes back in again, trade a little bit more silver for a little bit more gold. You know how people use the phrase dollar cost averaging in? Well, it's almost like silver cost averaging in, if that makes sense. But I wanted to talk about this today because I thought it was pretty interesting. And not only that I want to talk about trading silver for gold if and when the gold to silver ratio gap closes in, you also have to remember and take into consideration and ask yourself if the gold to silver ratio gap closes in, why did the silver to gold ratio gap close in? Was it because the spot price of silver went up or did the spot price of silver somehow manage to sit still and the spot price of gold came down quite a bit? If that were to take place, I don't know if I would want to trade silver for gold at that point. Something tells me that if the spot price of gold were to drop down by maybe a couple hundred bucks, it might potentially be smarter to trade dollars for gold rather than trade silver for gold. It really depends on why the gap closed in. Did it close in due to gold coming down or did it close in due to silver going up? Because it's important to remember that silver is only half of the equation. Silver is only half of the gold to silver ratio. The other half is relying on gold. Now, like I said, gold has historically done a far better job being a little bit more stable, a little bit more sustainable. Silver is obviously much more sporadic. So I think if the gold to silver ratio gap were to close in, it would more than likely be because of silver going up rather than gold coming down. But it's just something extra to think about. It's just something extra to keep in the back of your head because if gold were to significantly drop, you could trade your silver for gold at that point. Regardless, it doesn't matter all that much if you trade silver for gold due to silver going up or due to gold coming down. Either way, the gold to silver ratio gap closed in. But if the spot price of gold were to drop, I would probably see that as more of an opportunity to trade cash for gold, if that makes sense, and just hang on to my silver and wait till the spot price of silver goes up and closes in the ratio a little bit. But it's just something to think about. It's just something to talk about. I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know what are your thoughts on that right there. If the gold to silver ratio gap were to close in due to the spot price of gold coming down, what if silver sat still? What if gold came down and silver was still in the $25 to $30 range? What if gold dropped down to the $1,500 or $1,400 range at that point? Would you trade silver for gold? Or would you rather trade cash for gold? Would you rather convert your dollars into gold at that point? And I ask this question simply to spark a discussion. It's merely hypothetical. 
I do not believe the gold to silver ratio gap will close in due to gold coming down. I think it would be far more likely for silver to climb its way in an upward direction. It wouldn't be very likely for one metal to take a big hit or for one metal to completely surge and the other one is completely unfazed. Due to everything going on in the world, whether it be certain industries or sectors having to deal with new types of regulations or financial hardships or economic uncertainty or taxes going up or inflation or whatever the case may be, both metals, silver and gold, typically move in the same direction. When one takes a hit, most oftentimes the other one's going to take a hit as well. When one really begins to climb, usually the other one's going up with it. That's what we see time and time and time again. And I believe it's going to continue in that direction because the markets, and when I say the markets, I'm not just talking about the precious metals market. I'm talking about all of the markets, the stock market, everything. They're very quick to react to world news and economic news when something's going on. For example, stimulus checks, they were passed by the House and sent to the Senate. Some minor adjustments were made, and then it was passed by the Senate. Then it went back to the House. They passed it as is. Then 46 signed it, which meant that's all it took for it to officially come to fruition. So we saw the spot price of silver and gold start to climb a little bit. And I believe this was probably because a lot of people were thinking or their minds were automatically going to, oh no, a $1.9 trillion stimulus package that's a lot of dollar bills being printed out of thin air. That's a lot of dollar bills being digitally created. That probably means the price of rent, the price of food, the price of clothes, the price of everything is going to be going up. Inflation and what are silver and gold most frequently referred to as? A hedge against inflation. So I think a lot of people flock to the silver and the gold during times like these. And not for nothing, but the stock market really started to climb as well. And once again, it's because people's minds automatically come up with some conclusion and they will make whatever decision it is they're going to make most often out of emotion rather than logic. And at a time like this, there's a lot of hype and excitement. That's an emotion right there. And with stimulus packages, a lot of people automatically go into, okay, stimulus, therefore everything's going to be better by next week mode, even though this was the third stimulus and we're still not back on track. But a lot of people think that a stimulus means, okay, the problem's solved. Point being is that the markets are very quick to react to world news and economic news and really anything that has to do with finances. So I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know, do you think it's possible, number one, for the spot price of silver to really start to climb, which causes the gold to silver ratio gap to close in? Or do you think it's more likely for silver to... I don't want to say sit still, but maybe have a really slow, steady climb, and then out of nowhere, gold falls down by a couple hundred bucks, potentially. Head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic and trading one metal for the other metal. Would you ever trade silver for gold if and when the gold to silver ratio gap were to close in? What would the gold to silver ratio gap need to be for you to trade one precious metal for the other precious metal? And if anybody's interested in joining the Precious Metals VIP Club, it's where I can do things on my own terms. Not on YouTube's terms, my terms. I'm hosting privately held live streams. They're smaller and easier to manage. I'm also doing giveaways, discounts, personalized promo codes, shout outs, deal alerts when silver and gold is on sale on a variety of different websites. And of course, you can watch all my videos early and commercial free. Come join the Precious Metals VIP Club. It'll be the first link in the description. You're invited. I'd be happy to have you. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. If you guys like me, make sure to hit that subscribe button like a Karen hits a bus window. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there. Go check it out. The link will be in the description. Trying really hard to hit 2,000 subscribers. We just hit 1,800 and I appreciate that. And if you want to help support the channel in the biggest possible way, please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. Of course, we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies, which are up for grabs, along with a ton of other products, t-shirts, hoodies, even stickers, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations, such as the recently released Kraken Stacken t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug, inspired by the beautiful two ounce silver Kraken coin, 
which by the way, is helping us raise a little bit of funds and awareness for ocean cleanup charity organizations at no additional cost to you. It comes out of my pocket, not yours. And of course, please don't forget, you only have until St. Patrick's Day. You only have three days left to get yourself the luck has nothing to do with it t-shirt and hoodie only available in the color green and it's helping us raise a little bit of funds and awareness for St. Baldrick's Foundation which is working to help children with cancer which is obviously a beautiful thing. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated and I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know once again what would the gold to silver ratio need to be for you to trade a little bit of silver for a little bit of gold. Maybe right now with the gold to silver ratio being right around the 1 to 67 mark, maybe now in your opinion from your perspective is the perfect time to trade some silver for gold. Maybe you've already traded some silver for gold this week or this month or this year. Head on down to the comments and let me know if you think right now is a good time to trade your silver for some gold. Or do you think it would be more ideal to wait for the ratio to hit somewhere closer to 1 to 50, 1 to 40, potentially 1 to 30? I'm trying to be realistic here, not overly hopeful, 1 to 1. That's a little extreme if you ask me, but hey, I guess anything could happen. 2020 taught us that. Head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.